Welcome to the PinFlux tutorial on pinning images to your Pinterest account. PinFlux basically sees pinning images to your account in three different ways. One version is pinning, where images are taken from the internet and pinned to your Pinterest account. The second version is uploading, which is taking images from your computer and pinning those to your Pinterest account. And the third way is repinning, which is taking images from Pinterest and repinning them on Pinterest. So we're going to take a quick look at all three of these. To start with, you'll have to choose a board that you're going to be pinning to. So your boards are all displayed here at the top, and we're going to choose this one here called Cake Decorating. PinFlex will help you curate images from the internet based on a keyword. So to set that keyword, we just have to go to Settings. And here we can put in our keyword. So we'll just go Cake Decorating and we'll add that to our keywords list. And we do have to just fill in our settings here. So this would be the, uh, the gap between posting times. So we're gonna say no more than once a day and no less than every two days. So that means that it's gonna be posting these every day or two. And we would like to automatically pin these to the board. And there's little question mark icons that will reveal a pop-up with helpful tips throughout all of PinFlux. So if you have any questions, you can usually find the information that you need through the little handy icons there. We're going to add a description here. And this will appear in the description underneath all of our images that we pin. And we're going to add a link so that anyone who clicks on our images will be sent to our website or in this case our clients website. The Pinterest board URL here this is in place in case there is a board that exists on Pinterest that you just want to follow always so if there are any boards you can add those here but we're actually interested in curating images off the internet right now so I'm just going to skip that we'll save our settings and now when we look to the search results PinFlux is going to find all the curated images regarding our keyword and we have the option to either pin that immediately by clicking the pin now button so let's go ahead and try that and we saw a little confirmation there that the image was pinned to our board. And if there are others that we want to pin, but not immediately, we can add those to our queue. And that lines them up so that we have a variety of images in our pending queue. And we can see those here in the pending pins column. And all of these pins here are waiting for their turn according to our schedule that we set here in the settings, one day or two, okay? And PinFlux, so long as it remains open, will continue posting our pending pins to our Pinterest account. The other option that you have for pinning images from the internet is to pin it manually. So if, for example, you are surfing the web and you find an image that you want to post to your Pinterest, you can just copy the URL of that image and you can paste that here in the pin manually screen and just give it a note. And also the link so that Pinterest knows where to send people who are clicking on your image. And you can go ahead and click pin now and that is sent directly to your board. Now, if we visit our Pinterest account, we'll see here under our cake decorating board, the pins that we just pinned immediately. Here's the one that we pinned through the curated images, and here's the one that we pinned manually. Now, the other method that PinFlux has for sending pins to your Pinterest is through upload. And this draws images out of your computer system library. These are images that you already have on your computer hard drive. So you can just browse for that and you can choose one at a time 
or you can choose several. So if you have a large batch, this is a great way to just dump images into your PinFlux to be posted to Pinterest. So go ahead and pull those in and then we'll add our link and our description. And we want to set the uh, the timing again. So again, we'll, we'll set that between one day to two days. That way our followers will hear from us every single day, but uh, not more than once a day. Now we can automatically pin those to the board if we choose to, or we can just upload and they'll be forwarded to our search results for us to manipulate. So let's see that first. Okay, so let's look in search results. And here are the images that we just uploaded from our system. Now we have the option of either pinning those now, or we can add those to the queue. And here are our pending images uploaded from our system, and they will be uploaded at the time frame that we stipulated. Now, the third way that PinFlux has to pin images to your Pinterest is by repin. And repin means that the images already exist on Pinterest. So to find those, we're gonna to go to settings and same idea, we're going to put in our keyword and search keywords and we'll set in our time limits, the same as the others. And our content description. Okay, but this time, instead of searching the broader internet, this is only gonna be searching Pinterest for pins that are related to our keyword. So let's go ahead and click Save Settings. And then we'll see in our search results what PinFlux was able to find on Pinterest. So quite a few images already on Pinterest for such a popular topic. So we can go ahead and repin some of those now, or we can add them to the queue. And just like before, these will be published to our account at the scheduled times. And something important to note is even though these will be repins, these pins will be tagged with our description. And that's how you pin images to Pinterest with PinFlux. For more tips and tricks on how to get the most out of Pinterest with PinFlux, please watch our other tutorials. Thank you very much for watching.